Britain may struggle to keep the lights on in a few years, with the country's energy regulator warning that it's coming dangerously close to power shortages and household bills are likely to skyrocket because more fuel will need to be brought in from abroad. That's because EU pollution regulations mean coal-fired stations have to close. More from RT Sarah Firth in London. Not good news for consumers here in Britain at all. They've been warned once again that their energy bills are set to rise. Now, this warning was issued by the chief executive of the energy watchdog Ofgem, uh, and uh, he said that a fall in the UK's power production capacity, uh, a gap where renewable energy market hasn't quite caught up yet, uh, could be set to uh, push our bills even higher as we rely more and more on energy imports. Now, I want to put this in context for you because the debate around energy bills here in the UK uh, has been raging on for years. We've had uh, controversy over uh, energy tariffs. You've got the big six uh, kind of cartel of energy companies that have been uh, under constant criticism for not giving a fair deal to consumers. Uh, just this morning, I was talking to someone about this who said, you know, it's outrageous. I pay £141 a month just for my gas. That's not including the electricity and the water so you know this is really hitting families here in the UK incredibly hard it's becoming very scary to get that energy bill through every month millions of households here in the UK are already in fuel poverty and it looks like uh, many more could join them so that's obviously extremely concerning now at the same time uh, whilst we've had these warnings before What's happening right now is that you're seeing uh, power station closures here in the UK uh, as they try and get some of these old polluting plants uh, off the UK's uh, grid. Uh, but there hasn't been anything yet that's being built to replace that. And as we said, renewable energy uh, isn't quite there yet. So uh, there are warnings that we could see a fall in UK capacity by as much as 10% by this April. So this is going to be happening fairly quickly. Uh, now, to shed some light on just exactly what is going on and uh, how concerned consumers could be, I'm joined by Richard Dwelling from the Institute of Economic Affairs. Thank you very much for joining us. Look, not great news for consumers. We have heard that we're going to be relying more on imports. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, we're, we're trying to meet our climate change targets. We need to get those old polluting power plants of the UK system. So not great news, but this is unavoidable, no? I don't think so. And this is really terrible for news for consumers. So energy prices have gone up by 160 per cent since 2004. We've got six million households in fuel poverty expected to rise to nine million within just three years. And the problem is, of course, by having high energy prices in this country, it tends to export economic activity to countries such as China and India. So the effect, the overall effect on climate change is likely to be very small. So it actually could end up being counterproductive. Well, you mentioned China and India. There. Look, the government has said, don't panic consumers. We're going to keep Britain like switched on and actually as countries like China are demanding more uh, imports that's pushing the global prices higher so we're actually removing ourselves from the risk aren't we by you know looking towards renewable energy non-fossil fuel types of energy not really. It means actually exposing the UK um, more to external risks. For example, uh, imported gas is a lot more vulnerable to security risks than imported coal. It comes from potential flashpoints such as the Persian Gulf. And of course, some US states now enjoy electricity prices around a third the price of in the UK, gas prices around a fifth the price. It's putting British businesses at a major competitive disadvantage. As we said, a very controversial debate affecting millions of households all across the UK. And it looks like the debate uh, around uh, Britain's energy bills set to be heated and continue. Sarah Firth reporting there.